morning everyone and happy Saturday um, it is really early in the morning it's 5 46 I've been up since 4 50 this morning getting dressed because I have to work today um, I signed myself up to do a story that is in Tyler Texas which is like two hours away so we're gonna get ready for that but if you guys are new here good morning my name is Emily. I'm 26 years old and live in the Dallas-Fort Worth area as a news reporter and we have work today. We're doing a story um, that is interesting. I'll tell you a little bit about it when I'm a little bit more awake. But I'm gonna finish getting dressed, figure out what the heck I'm gonna wear to this. Um, it's a march and drink the rest of my coffee and then we will hit the road. So I'm picking out my outfit and I think this is what I'm going to go for. It's like a brown bodysuit and then this like brown and like purplish maroon color. It's like furry on the inside because it's pretty cold today. And then some jeans and some sneakers because I'm going to be walking. Um, I wanted to wear my Spectrum News t-shirt. However, it's a t-shirt and I'm going to be cold. So I'm not going to do that. Also... It's so early in the morning and Goose is in the other room and he's asleep and it's so cute. Look. He's so cute. My little sleepy boy. Good morning. Oh my goodness, big stretch. Big stretch. Oh, it's a good boy. You sleep good? Come here. Okay, it is officially 6.34. I need to change my clock on my car. It is saying it's 7.30, but it's not. Um, and my drive is about two hours to the place that I'm going. I'm going to the Cathedral of Immaculate Conception in Tyler, Texas. And I guess this is a good time to tell you what my story is. So basically, I am covering a bishop. He's kicked him out of the church, basically, and because he tweeted some things about the Pope, not agreeing with him, and the Pope didn't like it, so they took him out of the church. And um, there's a march today because the, the community loves this bishop, and they're just really upset that he was taken out of the church for expressing his opinions. Um, so... I'm covering that and that is the plan but basically there's gonna be a march and I'm covering the march I'm gonna look for a person to kind of shadow the whole time um, just make it really character driven um, and that is the plan I have some work cards in my uh, car and my ID badge and I'm gonna wear that to kind of show like hey this is me I work for spectrum news um, but I've got my bag packed I brought my lunch I didn't show you guys packing it but I have a meal plan and I just want to follow it. This coffee is not going to be on the meal plan, but we're going to do it anyways. Um, so I'm going to do that. So let's go ahead and hit the road so that we can get there on time, get good parking and get a coffee. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In playing a certain sport, to play an instrument is the hardest hobby to like get. 
So I'm officially in Tyler, Texas. I stopped at this Super One Foods um, to go to the bathroom because I drank all that coffee. But I am in town, it is 8.30. I'm super early, however, I typically like to get a little early and shoot my intro first or figure out what the heck I might say for my intro. I also like to prep some questions and just once more read over what I'm doing today just so that I make sure I hit the bullseye on my story and can produce a really good story. I am doing a day turn today, which I don't typically do. I mean, they're they're common, but um, day turns are when we do a story and we turn it in that day by four o'clock and it airs at five. So that is what I'm doing today. Typically, um, our work week is not like that. Um, we do day turns every now and then, but we can shoot the story one day, turn it in the next, and it might not air till the end of the week or next week or multiple times in the week. It just depends on what the story is and what's going on. This story is really relevant, so they would need it today. Um, so I am going to be shooting it today. Gonna go find like a coffee shop or sit in my car because I have a desk set up I can have in my car and edit that out, knock it out, and then we will head back home. But let's go ahead and head towards the church where this is starting at, and then we will get going on like getting some material together before we um, start at 10 o'clock. Why are you here today? Why am I here today? I am here to pray for our bishop, um, for our church, and um, just that the gospel will continue to go out. Amidst a sea of parishioners, each grappling amidst a sea of parishers grappling with the amidst a sea of parishers grappling with the decision made by the amidst the sea of amidst the sea of seriously Amidst a sea of parishioners grappling with the aftermath of a controversial decision made by the Vatican, we spoke to those who support and dissent the removal of Bishop Strickland. So I forgot to vlog me editing. However, I did my story. It was very long. I did my intro. I wrote and then I edited and I'm in my car and it is 2.40 and I am done. I've turned everything in and we are done for the day and this is what my seat looks like I ate all my food in here I edited I have this like pink thing that becomes a table on my steering wheel off the Amazon it's great especially if you like to eat in your car like it's a good investment good gift but good Christmas gift I literally have drinks everywhere I have my Starbucks cup I have two Dr. Peppers and a water this one's for like yesterday or something all the things but we're gonna head home now it says I'll be home at 4 30 and that is perfect because that gives me enough time to take goose out feed him change and then go to the store and then me and my friend Nicolette are going to have a girls night at her place I'm just so excited and I think some of her friends are coming as well so I'll make some friends so let's go ahead and hit the road because I'm so tired So it is the next day guys and I forgot to end out the vlog. I'm sitting on my little balcony with Goose. He loves it out here. Also, I just wanted to address some things that you guys definitely might have noticed if you follow my channel. Um, but me and Mr. Goose have moved out of our house and I'm now single. Um, I moved to Dallas to be with Forrest, who was my boyfriend for almost two years. And um, a little over a week ago, I decided that we just weren't working anymore. There were a lot of things that went along with it um, that I don't feel like discussing right now um, and don't feel like putting my personal life on blast. So 
we're, we just went through some things. We weren't benefiting from the relationship at all. We were, at least I was super unhappy. And I decided to call it quits. And I found a new place. I'm in a new city. I have my own apartment. I absolutely love it. My parents were so kind. Um, and my dad and my mom and my stepdad, they helped me immediately the next day after move into my new place. Um, and I've just been really happy. I picked up the camera. I know it's super early since a breakup. Um, but I picked up the camera because it provides comfort to me. It makes me feel like a, a little bit of normalcy and I don't know, I just wanted to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any um, video ideas that you want to see down below, let me know. I'm definitely going to do a form of vlogmas, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below the emoji like a key emoji or a camera emoji because we, we did a work vlog and i'll see you in my next video bye